Hi, my name is Roger Schleter. Uh, this video is actually about the FICO SBSS Business Credit Score. Um, the SBSS stands for Small Business Scoring Service. And this is actually what SBA is using to pre-screen their smaller loans. Um, SBA started using this credit report in 2014. Uh, the SBA basically uh, pre-screens applicants for 7A loans from zero all the way up to 350,000. Um, with the uh, FICO SBSS uh, business credit score. Um, this credit score really goes to a high end of 300. And then the SBA minimum score that SBA would consider is 140, but they'd really like the score to be kind of from 140 to 160 or higher. Um, how the uh, FICO SBSS business credit score works, um, the score is determined by both your personal and your business financial habits. Um, the score ranges from zero to 300, with 300 being the best. This number indicates to SBA your likelihood of being able to pay back the loan, or at least SBA's view of your likelihood to pay off the loan. Uh, the SBA currently uses this score to pre-screen applicants and requires a score usually of at least 140. And like I said before, they really like it to be 140 to 160. Um, now let's say your score is lower than the minimum score at SBA, then what? Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that your, your loan will not be approved. Uh, to continue your loan application, you must then go through a manual approval process where other factors may be taken into account. Uh, sometimes if the bank is on your side, which I really, you know, you should really try to get the bank on your side from the get-go, and usually they're pretty easy because they really want to make loans, um, the bank can, can ease the way for SBA. They can help you get approved. Um, the FICO doesn't have any really credit information. It's not like you're calling up getting your credit score. Uh, they provide formulas that calculate the credit score. Um, there are four types of information that they use to get a credit number. Uh, the first one would be your credit reports from the owners or guarantors. This would be like your personal credit report. The second would be business credit reports, which really, banks don't really pull business credit reports, but SBA thinks they're of value. Um, then number three, data supplied by the applicant of the loan application. And this would be all the data that's on your loan application that you submit to SBA. Um, number four would be financial data of the business. And now if you're a, a currently operating business, then this helps a lot. If, if you got, you know, a decent, uh, I guess, decent operation. Um, so anyway, but if you're a startup, uh, this could be kind of tough. Um, but anyway, the most important of these will be the credit reports of the owners, then business credit reports, then financial data, and, and, the, uh, and the application. So anyway, a startup business with no credit history can get a passing score, but the owners would almost have to have a perfect credit scores, which, which usually is not always the case when you're talking borrowers for very small loans. Because businesses are not covered by the Fair Credit Reporting Act protection, that's a mouthful, you can be denied credit financing due to your SBSS score, and the lenders are not required to tell you the score was used or provide your score. So it's a little different in the business world than it is in the personal credit world. Personal credit world, they have to be very careful. They have to tell you what your score was. They have to tell you why you were not uh, given this loan or why it was this way. In business, they can just say, we're denying this loan. And you say why, and they can say credit. They can say because of collateral. They could say a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, but they don't really have to get the really, I think on the smaller loans, they do have to give you some indication of why the loan was not done, but they don't, SBA doesn't have to give out any of this, uh, this credit score information. Um, remember that it is an indicator that is used to screen out really the most dismal applications. Uh, you and your bank can always work with SBA to get them to accept a lower credit score. And that's really what you should do is work with the bank because if the credit score doesn't work, then they will, they will look at it manually. 
And that's where the bank can come in and say, hey, you know, I've worked with this person and I, and I know that they're, you know, better than these scores really show. And they, they can help you get the loan. So anyway, um, that is the, the um, FICO uh, SBSS, which stands for Small Business Scoring Service, Business Credit Score. And this is used for, this has been used since 19, or since 2014. And it's basically pre-screens applicants for 7A loans from zero up to $350,000. You must get a 140, um, or at least the SBA wants you to get a, a score of 140, but they'd like it to be 140 to 160. Um, so anyway, thank you very much. Um, I hope you subscribe. Hope you hit the notification bell for being notified when there's future videos. And if you took away anything from this, I hope you uh, I hope you um, go ahead and like the video. And uh, thank you very much. My name is Roger Schleter, and I will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.